Now that the AH and JD trial is over and companies are still siding with Amber, we've seen social media erupt with talk about how she should be removed from projects and mainstream media has clearly taken her side and they've refused to give Johnny any positive coverage. And as the weeks have gone on, more and more has made AH look like a terrible person plus a bad actress. But the number one person who makes Amber look bad is Amber herself and now she She's throwing a fit on social media because Johnny isn't staying silent and is thanking fans for their support. I have a few things to show off, but before we get into the topic at hand, if you enjoy the content that I create, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Follow me on social media like Twitter or mine so that you can see when my content is posted. And of course, if you do really enjoy the videos and the live streams that I create, please consider becoming a Dark Titan via Patreon for just a dollar a month or support the channel via YouTube memberships. All of the links are in the description, and of course, I do really appreciate all of the support. So I wanted to start with this Daily Mail article. It says, AH slams JD for posting montage on TikTok, thanking his fans for their support. Now we have seen Johnny over the years thank his fans for supporting him when companies dropped him and refused to work with him, when Hollywood blacklisted him, when Amber has made statements. We have seen him constantly thank his fans. And that's a big difference between Amber and Johnny, okay? Even when Amber had victories, she never never really cared about her fans, cared about the people who believed her and stuck by her, um, because this was all just about getting Johnny cancelled, getting him kicked out of the industry, proving that she was an amazing person and he was a terrible one, but now that she has lost the defamation trial, well, things aren't really going her way and she is furious. It says she has reacted with disgust to her ex-husband's crowing about his victory in their defamation trial after he joined TikTok to thank his fans for their support and proclaim that they were moving forward. Now, my one issue here is TikTok because TikTok has protected Amber, okay? They have removed tons of videos in the past few weeks that have gone viral that make fun of her. Uh, unfortunately, they have definitely sided with Amber over the past few months. Do I think that they're going to remove Johnny's video? No, hopefully not. I think that it is getting a lot of attention and to remove it would make them look way, way worse than they already do. But they have removed a lot of videos in the past that made fun of Amber and I did talk about that in another video. But it says the 58-year-old actor posted a video compilation on Tuesday on the platform where he has already racked up 5.1 million followers, which showed him arriving at the courthouse to crowds of fans. There were so many people who showed up, so many people on social media who have talked about how much they support him. And I'm sure that that makes him feel great now that he has won, now that he has proven that she has defamed him. The TikTok also showed clips of him playing guitar on stage with his friend, and Depp said, We will all move forward together, and this is all Johnny's ever wanted to do, was simply move forward. But Amber cannot accept the fact that he is not obsessed with her, that he wants to move forward with his life, that he is sticking to his word to never talk to her again, never look at her again, never pay attention to her again, and she's been obsessed with his social media following over the years and the things that he's done on social media. She cannot accept except the fact that he has millions of fans and followers, and that millions of people are now rallying to have her be removed from the film Aquaman 2. Heard on Tuesday evening issued a statement saying, as Johnny says he's moving forward, women's rights are moving backward. The verdict's message to victims of DV is be afraid to stand up and speak out. Now, we knew that we'd see this current-day feminist narrative be pushed that this is a step back for women, yet she is the one who walked into that courtroom with little to no evidence. She had no doctor's notes. The days that she apparently had her nose broken or black eyes, she was miraculously fine the next day when she had TV appearances. She was caught in tons of lies and even admitted that she hurt him. Now, he's not a saint. I'm not saying that he's this perfect person, but anyone defending AH by saying, oh, it's a 
step back for women only wanted a woman to win her case because of her gender and that's a massive problem they don't care about this man who was clearly defamed and won a case. No, no. Only that a woman didn't win. We knew this narrative would come as soon as the verdict was read, but it's just gross how people blindly support her when she had a chance to show evidence and had next to none. And this is what she is so furious at. He had said to all of my most treasured, loyal, and unwavering supporters, we've been everywhere together. We have seen everything together. We have walked the same road together. We did the right thing together all because you cared. And now we will all move forward together. You are, as always, my employers. And once again, I am whittled down to no way to say thank you other than just by saying thank you. So thank you, my love and respect, J.D. <laughs> This is what she's so mad at. Someone who is going on social media, thanking his fans, telling his fans that he loves them, that he cares about them, and he's so glad that they have supported him over the years. Why didn't Amber ever do something like that? I don't know, a couple of years ago. Why didn't she ever make any statements talking about how much she loved her fans? Maybe it's because she just doesn't love her fans, and these are two very different people. And why would you support someone who doesn't actually care about the fact that you've been supporting them? It's as simple as that. Johnny has always been someone who's gone on social media, thanked his fans. I mean, he has given back a lot to the community that cares about him. I mean, look at all of these amazing stories about him that have come out over the years when, um, his daughter was in, you know, the children's hospital and he decided to dress up as Captain Jack Sparrow and read to the kids for hours and hours and hours on end because he was so happy that they did so much for his daughter. Why wasn't there any stories about Amber ever put out like that? I don't know, maybe because she's never done anything amazing like that. But now the rumor is that she is being completely cut from Aquaman 2. And we've heard th this rumor circulate for months now that uh, her role was going to be cut down. A lot of the scenes with her were going to be removed. But now the rumor is that she is being completely cut from the film. And it's no surprise to see why this rumor is going around now that she is lost because there are almost 5 million people who have signed this petition to have her removed from the film. If she keeps making ridiculous statements like these, she's gonna get sued again. I mean, this is the second time since the loss she's made statements that could probably be grounds for another lawsuit. She needs to learn to take the loss, move on, and find a way to give Johnny the millions she already owes him. But that's all that I really had to talk about in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed, please make sure to give this video a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.